Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack. So, as you can tell, my voice still isn't back up to 100%, and that's why I haven't posted a video in the past couple of days, but I really want to make a video talking about the current state of Overwatch. Now, I did want to bring this video earlier, because if you remember, I think it was last week, there are a ton of Overwatch influencers, including your boy, that were talking so highly about the future of Overwatch. And while all these posts were coming out of the blue, it left the rest of the Overwatch community scratching their hair. It's like, yo, like, what, what's going on? Is there actually going to be good things coming to Overwatch? Are these influencers getting paid? Like, what the heck is going on? And this is at least something that I can't talk about because I have talked about beforehand, but myself and a lot of influencers got off of a call with the Overwatch team themselves talking about the future of the game. And that in itself, I think, is the first greatest and biggest step that the Overwatch team can do to change the future of Overwatch, is actually communicating with the community that helps keep this game alive. So now we're getting conversations of the future of Overwatch, and we're also given the the ability to give direct feedback to the developers and to the people that actually have power over the game along with things like giving us the power to change things within the game like with the recent experimental card and allowing Flats, Samju, and Violet to change heroes within the game along with putting on a $10,000 tournament for anybody to participate in. And above all of that, like this is the one thing that I think everybody forgets on a daily basis. While Overwatch isn't perfectly balanced, I truly do feel like Overwatch is in the best state balance wise that it has been for years and that's by no accident when you don't add a brand new hero for a year and a half you really have a good shot to balance all the heroes that are within the game right now and not have to worry about the future heroes that are gonna possibly be added into the game if you add a brand new tank you got to worry about someone like Reaper and not make them super overpowered if you add a brand new flying hero you got to worry about the hit scans and you can't make them too overpowered because what about fair and echo right now you know things like that so so you can really try to get to that zero point where almost every single hero is playable. Now again, there still will be some people that think like, oh, Genji is super overpowered, or Zenyatta is overpowered, or Roadhog is overpowered, or someone like me who thinks Doomfist is overpowered, but in all reality, we probably just get annoyed facing those heroes that we just complain and think that they do need to be nerfed. So while we we'll all have the hero that we do think needs to get nerfed into the ground, I truly do feel like, for the most part, Overwatch is in the best state that it has been. But while I'm talking so highly and almost praising Overwatch for doing such a good job, I think it's overshadowed by the fact that there is the one glaring issue that we've all been complaining as a community. The lack of content, the lack of new maps, the lack of heroes, the lack of really the things that we were enjoying almost three years ago, but three years ago we were complaining on a daily basis of all the things that we are finally getting right now. It's almost like the current state of Overwatch has completely flip-flopped itself where we're getting all the things that we wanted years ago, but we're not getting the things that we we're getting years ago like you go on to Twitter you go on to overwatch forums you go on to any type of thing that people would go on to complain to the developers about Brigida being broken or how my teammates aren't switching to the hero that we need to play or how I never get a support on my team now the complaints are replaced by there are no brand new heroes when was the last brand new map other than an FFA map I can't even remember the last good game mode that was added ever since CTF like it's kind of crazy and sad they're all nostalgic whether we like it or not of the days where where we complained about one single hero that was ruining the game. That we're all nostalgic of the days when there was brand new content that we all could look forward to, but when it came to the toxic teammates not switching, that was our biggest issue. But why am I telling you all this? Well, one, to satisfy the title of this video, the current state of Overwatch, because as sad as it is, that is the state, is that the multiplayer for Overwatch is the best that we've ever seen, where you can really play any hero in a good balanced comp where you know you're gonna get a tank and a support as long as you play roll queue, but you don't really have anything to look forward to tomorrow because there's not going to be a brand new hero, brand new map, brand new game mode, or really even any brand new things in the events that they have brought for the six year in a row besides skins. So if you like skins, well then Overwatch is in the perfect state that's ever been. But, and assuming that we're going to keep all the things that we're getting right now, the good balance of heroes, the direct communication with the developers themselves, and Overwatch events like the winter event, the lunar event, so on and so forth, that just means that Overwatch 2 is going to be the embodiment of the perfect Overwatch experience that we've always hoped for and wanted. It just took six years to finally achieve that. I mean, just think of it. When Overwatch 2 comes out, which you already know it's going to be coming out in April because that's when the Overwatch League starts and I keep having to remind people that whether you like it or not and whatever Blizzard decides to do, Overwatch 2 is coming out in the year 2022 100%. We're not only going to get brand new game modes with Bush, brand new maps with Toronto, New York, Rome, and all the other maps. On top of that, 
have brand new heroes, which has already been announced by Aaron Keller himself during the Overwatch League Championship. So that solves the issue of the lack of content that we haven't gotten for a year and a half. But we're also going to get direct communications with the developers to solve the issues of overpowered heroes when these brand new heroes comes and messes up the meta. Because it's going to happen. We're not going to have the happy balanced meta that we have right now going into Overwatch 2 because it's just impossible to get the game perfect when you add new things to it. No longer will we be just screaming into a void for months saying Brigida's overpowered, Brigida's overpowered, Goats is so terrible, we hate Goats, stop Goats. Now we're going to be able to tell the developers, hey, Brigida's really overpowered, I think you should look at Shield Bash and her Inspire ability, and then boom, they'll take that into consideration and change her and tweak her, and within a month, the game will be completely different and we'll move on to the next issue that we have a problem with. And because they're not spending so much time on PvE and on the campaign and things that don't relate to PvP, once all that is done, now we're going to be able to possibly get even new events like Valentine's Day or Earth Day or whatever the Overwatch team decides to do moving forward to add new content. They're going to continue to do the things that they were doing back in 2016, 2017 that got people excited to play Overwatch because they're not spending all their resources basically making five new games, which is what they said Overwatch 2 is really like. Not making one brand new game or making a sequel, just making five brand new games with PvP, PvE, skins, heroes, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I know it sounds like I'm on Hopium and I'm just trying to get you guys excited because I'm getting paid by the Overwatch developers, which also is not true. Like, just a little reminder, if anyone is ever paid by a company, you legally have to disclose that you're getting paid by said company whenever you're promoting a product. So just because you see me and any of their influencers getting excited for Overwatch 2, it's not because we're getting paid, even though we should be getting paid because we're keeping this game alive. No, we're just excited for the future of Overwatch based on what we were told in the call, but also just using logic. While yes, this year has sucked for every single Overwatch creator, the future for Overwatch 2022 is bright because of just using pure logic. I mean, Overwatch 2 is coming out next year. We're finally going to get brand new heroes and brand new maps, and we're finally getting listened to. Like, why wouldn't we get excited for this game? Why wouldn't we get excited for the second rendition of Overwatch? Something that we thought was going to be released a lot sooner, but is finally getting released. So really, the current state of Overwatch is a boring, balanced game with a hopeful future. I, I think that's a good way to summarize Overwatch, and I would want your guys' thoughts on what you think Overwatch is like right now. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's like for a lot of people, because if you're still sticking around this channel and still watching Overwatch content, you too are very hopeful for the future. You too are trying to stick out until Overwatch 2, just to see how amazing it will be. And, and I can't say if it's going to be the perfect game or not, but just using uh, context clues on what's going on right now and what Overwatch was like back in 2016 and 2017, you know, remembering the magic uh, of what that game brought to me in my video game life, I can only hope that Overwatch 2 will also just kind of revitalize that same spark that I got back in those younger years. Or maybe we're all just getting lied to because there's only two things that are guaranteed in this life and that is death and taxes. And boy, do I feel like the first one, if you can't tell. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the current state of Overwatch that's in right now. And I'll see you guys later. I love you guys, and bye.